Hey guys, and welcome back to another Technology Guru video. So today in this video, I wasn't sure if I was going to do this video, but I decided I'm going to do it. I have an iOS application, soon to be Android, it's not released yet uh, in the States, but uh, it's from the guys who do Clash of Clans. The name of the game is Clash Royale. It combines a whole bunch of genres as far as like uh, CCGs, uh, tower defense. Uh, it's really, really well suited for mobile gaming. This is a fantastic game, and that's why I'm spotlighting it today uh, on the iOS Spotlight. So again, the name of the game is Clash Royale. If you wanna check it out, stick around. All right, guys, so like I said, the name of the game is Clash Royale, so we're going to jump into it, but before we do, I'm going to show you a little bit of the user interface so we can kind of take a look. So basically, you assemble a team of eight units or cards in this case. Uh, you can see here's my card collection there. You see I've got a bunch of cards that I have not unlocked yet. Um, and then you assemble a team of eight different units or eight cards. And as you can see here, I'm using the witch, the archers, the prince, the arrows, um, the mini Pika, Pekka, I call it one of the other, it doesn't matter. Uh, the spear goblins, the giant, and the fireball, right? You gotta have a fireball. Uh, so basically you can replace those cards with any of the ones that you have in your collection. So let's say I want to use the minions here. I can go here and click use, and then I can replace any of the cards that I am using currently. So if you take a closer look, there's a little purple droplet in the left-hand corner of each one of the cards. That's how much elixir it costs to play that unit when you're in a battle. So keep that in mind when you're assembling your deck. Normally I keep mine around 4, 4.1, but right now it's a little low with what I'm doing. As far as currencies, there's two different kinds of currencies. There's a premium currency, as you can see here, the gems, and then you've got the free currency, which is gold. Uh, so if you have played Clash of Clans, a lot of the artwork, a lot of the names, stylization, things like that are going to look similar to you. Uh, so Let's go ahead and open a chest here. You get a free chest you get to open uh, every so often. The chest basically contain gold as well as cards. So you continue getting cards to upgrade the current cards that you have. Once you reach the cap of a card, you can upgrade it and it increases the hit points and the damage that the card does when it's inserted into battle. So let's go ahead and take a look at what a battle looks like. So you, you click there, you pay a couple gold to get in the battle. Here's the arena. You got me on the bottom, the opponent on the top, and then you can, you can do a little emotes here. You can do little smiley face you can do good luck, you can do all of that good stuff. And as you see, my elixir is, is full right now, currently on the upper uh, or, or below me. You can see the elixir is that purple bar. So basically, you kind of normally want to be patient. Uh, and if you win, you get trophies. If you lose, you lose trophies. The more trophies you accumulate, the higher up in the ranks you get. I don't know why he's not playing anything. Uh, normally, I just wait, kind of see what th they do, and then kind of play reactionary. So basically, he's going fireball, so I'm going prince at the face. Uh, and as you can see there, uh, it tells you what card you're going to get next. Next. So uh, I'm getting the giant next. So I'm going to go ahead and play the witch now. And then I'm going to go ahead and run a giant out there. Normally the tactics that you want to use is this. You want to put out your tanky units, which like the giant is a tanky unit, and then throw like the spear goblins and the archers who are going to be your main DPS threat to go ahead and go behind the tank units. So that way, it's basically like the giants, they just accumulate or attract attention for you. And then your DPS units will go and DPS uh, down the other units. So we'll go ahead and use some arrows there, clear that out. Uh, and as you can see there, uh, basically the goal of this game is to eliminate the towers of the defense. So I want to knock down their towers. He wants to knock down my towers. So uh, why he's doing that with the fireball to the face, that's normally not a good tactic. Uh, as you can see, I'm just clicking and holding and dragging out the cards on the battlefield. So basically I'm going to get a few uh, DPS units out there. Go ahead and get my giant to come up. Uh, and then I could even do a little damage to that tower on the right hand side. And then, oh, almost did it there. We'll go ahead and throw some spear goblins out. Uh, so you have three towers. You have the two on the left and the right and the one center tower. Uh, basically, if you knock down one tower, they knock down zero, you win. Uh, if you knock down their middle tower before they knock down yours, you win. It doesn't matter. So that's basically the win condition of the game. So we'll go ahead and throw a giant out. I'm not doing too great in this game. It's hard to record. I am doing this live right now. Um, so hopefully you guys will forgive me in the comments. Uh, and then now what I'm gonna do is run a prince on the left-hand side. The prince, uh, from what I have gathered, uh, is a card that does a crazy amount of damage, but it's also very, very weak. Um, the prince is very good against tower. So as you can see, as he's going up against the tower there, uh, he's gonna do a lot of damage, but he fireballed me there. So I didn't really have a chance to do anything. Uh, and then and basically, see, the enemy got one of my towers down. So basically what that means is, oh, I got one of his towers down. 
So what that means is now we go into a sudden death. So there's a three minute timer. Towards the end, you're going to get double elixir so you can play more cards in the last minute of each match. Uh, I love the way the matches are and, and the reason why is because it's a really quick match. When you're playing something on mobile, it's a very easy uh, to get uh, distracted or, or get caught up in something else. Uh, and it's very simple to just go in, play a three minute match and it's very, very easy. So. Uh, anyways, I'm not doing too great right now currently, so uh, it's not doing not doing too good right now. So we're going to go ahead and run the prince out there. So as you see, I got sudden sudden death. So the next person to knock down a tower wins the game, and it looks like he's going to knock down my left tower there. So there's really nothing that I can do about it except maybe throw a giant here, do a little deeps there, and see what happens. So as you can see, the giant does not attack other units. The giant only attacks the towers so that's great for a tanky unit as you can see i'm not putting out any units right now i'm just talking uh but you have like spells which will basically uh you know target units by themselves and then you have like units like the prince and the giant and, and things like that um there are strategies that are out there that's going to tell you this is better than than that and like i said normally if you just have a tanky unit and then dps units behind that that's normally going to be your best bet so he's going to go ahead and probably knock down my lower left hand tower there because he has got a lot of units that are up right now so he's probably going to win there you go so he won he got two crowns i only uh got one crown so that's fine as you can see i lose some trophies i lost 20 trophies there so we'll go ahead and click okay uh, again the name of the game is clash royale and a few more things i want to say about it is this you can watch replays of like top battles by going to the tv royale you can go here and join a clan once you reach level three uh, and then right here is going to be where you battle you can look at your trophies here see how you rank up against the players around the globe as well as your friends whatever you want to do there uh, and then if you want to add me on game center you feel free to do that it's uh, dm porter 74 don't forget to follow me on Twitch as well. I've streamed a little bit of this game. It's a lot of fun to do on stream. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. I really hope uh, that you enjoyed this video. If you did, just thumbs it up there. Let me know you like this video. You'd like to see more of them. And uh, as always, guys, I will see you in the next one.